what's up everyone welcome back to another video and in this video i reached legend uh big thanks to huge pranav yasa Elite, smash king and other members of yasa Elite server uh, who helped me reach uh, reach legend this season because i was not hoping that i can hit a reach legend because i was lacking some skills from 2800 i was like a walled at that elo range so they helped me out in breaking that wall to legend and and huge th a big thanks to Pranav because he helped me in my last set to hit legend I got a 5-4 all, all the links to uh, these people yes other leads smash king and Pranav uh, so, uh, Pranav's social media will be in the description be sure to follow these guys out because they are some of the best battlers in the world that you can follow to improve your pvp skills so let's get into the team the team is stunfisk sableye and medjam a basic really basic team as you have i know that you as i know that you also know this team uh, because this team is uh, really predictable i think because everyone uh, might have used it somewhere if you have these pokemon so uh, this team is stunfisk Sableye and Medicham. Sunfisk is a fairy counter, and then my backline is weak to fairy. Uh, my backline is fighting uh, you know, counter. Sableye is a ghost type, which resists fighting uh, moves, and Medicham is a psychic type, which resists fighting moves. So the team is really balanced uh, to take on anything. So this team got uh, got me 600 elos, as I have shown in the thumbnail, from 2560. 231 172 uh, ending the season with 38 178 elo so after that i got uh, played two sets and got a 0 5 and 1 4 uh, ending the uh, season with th uh, 3056 so i'm not in that elo but this team really helped me uh, gaining this uh, 600 elos really strong team and with the new move uh, move update uh, which uh, which is coming in season of light this team will be more strong more stronger than ever because uh Sevla is not debuffed nor nor is medicham and stunfisk is also not debuffed uh Wallin is debuffed uh Wallin, uh Wallin was a really good check to save life because Wallin beats uh Sevla in all even shields so uh, Wallin, uh, with Wallin being debuffed now this team is not even threatened by that Wallin and uh, there were also uh, some more Pokemon uh, which were debuffed so this team is just got really strong so if you want to uh, reach your desired rank uh, uh, next season be sure to try, check this team out and let's get into the battles here we have Sableye Mirror Match I throwed an e a rock slide on this save line before switching into my save line because that secured uh, that sec uh, that secured my uh, flip because if I didn't have thrown that rock slide that uh, rock slide then my save line would have lost to this opposing save line because of uh, opposing save line having one or two uh, shadow claw advantage. So that was really calculated on my part. I also learned it the hard way because I lost a lot of uh, switch ad switch advantages. I think yeah, switch advantages to uh, in the uh, save line mirror matches where I didn't throw a rock slide and switch into my save line right away. So that that's why I knew that how and this is how to play this matchup. So here we have Stunfisk against Liquid Tongue. I'm trying to get to another uh, earthquake, but Lickitung got to a move. I know that I can survive this move. That's why I decided to no shield this move. And now I'll switch into my Medicham uh, to get a head start on energy with my with my Medicham against opponent's final Pokemon. And let uh, Lickitung got to a move, which is not good as my Medicham is now in 50% HP. And I have some energy advantage. So I thought that maybe opponent think that I'll throw uh back to back psychics so maybe opponent can shield that's why i decided to bait there and now i'm shielding this move if this is an this is a psychic uh, which it is 
this is really good for me as i can throw this psychic and after that i'll uh i think i throw ice punch for some reason let's see yeah yeah i uh i throw all ice punch because i'm thinking that maybe this can kill and i need some hp on my medicham to count around that legatang i switched into my sunfish that and tried to get to a uh, rock slide but i ended up uh, catching a psychic and now i have to counter this medicham down so that i can win this game uh, this was a bit earlier to get to to be a ice punch so i thought it, it is going to be a power punch and i barely countered down that medicham and got to this and barely sub survived that lick damage now i am at zero. 1 HP and a dream and throwing a ice punch which KO'd that Lickitung GG's to the opponent very close match and let's get into the into the next battle where we have Stunfisk against Altaria which is a really good for, uh, good lead for me I switched into my Medicham a bit la late as now this Empoleon will be able to get to two charge moves uh, before getting countered down by my Medicham so what I am gonna do is shield one and farm all the way down. Empoleon will be able to get to a uh, move here, but I cannot shield. I know that I can survive this move, and I have uh, some ice punches stored for the Altaria incoming if opponent decides to come in with Altaria. I would have uh, switched uh, uh, earlier uh, so that my Medicham doesn't have to be so low, but uh, it is looking decent as well so, uh, as i will be able to throw these two ice punches and now altaria is in a was in a much short range so opponent decided to uh, uh switch and come in with toxic Oak. i'm i'm coming in with my sable eye i'm throwing these foul plays just to get get two shields away from uh opponent as foul play and shadow claw uh, damage is a lot and i'm also behind a shield so let's see what happens so here comes the mud bomb and i'm trying to throw this foul play before a toxic dog can get to a move but toxic dog was able to get to a move i have to shield here because my stun fist cannot get to two moves against toxic dog so i'm forced to shield here i'll i'll throw this foul play expecting opponent to shield which is really good for me as uh, now i can get to a move on my stun fist and ko this toxic dog uh, i switched i tried to get to a foul play on my save life which was a really bad call on my part because that gave toxic rock extra counters to get to two mud mud, uh, mud bombs but thankfully it toxic rock didn't get to it and it here we won the race against altaria to the sky attack because uh, altaria uh, had some energy and altaria can get to a sky attack uh, in uh, where, uh, where when Stunfisk throws seven and a half mud shots. So, yeah, it was a really close battle. If Altaria would have gotten to a sky attack, then it would, would have won the game. So, GG's to the opponent. Really close battle. Let's get into the next battle where we have uh, Medicham against Stunfisk. Lead was Stunfisk versus Araconid. So, this is looking a decent matchup for me as I know that Stunfisk is at six mud shots and this was uh, snuck in was the seventh mud shot. So, I I was able to CMP tire on an earthquake against this uh, Stunfisk, forcing a shield or a win the switch advantage. I won the switch advantage, which is really good for me as now I can try to get to a psychic. <laughs> My Medicham uh, will be farmed all the way down, which is not ideal, but uh, I won the switch and Stunfisk is a really good counter to Raconid. And I was able to get to this, uh, I was able to get this psychic damage. Which is really good for me as now I, I can kill this Araconid in two rock slides. So here comes Bubble Beam. I'm trying to get to uh, Rock Slide and I'll throw it right away because I don't want to throw a triple or uh, quarter debuff uh, Rock Slide. And opponent made a really good catch on his uh, Swamp Bot. And now we have two, 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 uh, two, two, two shield uh, against. Uh, uh save life versus swamp Earth. so i'm shadow claw damage is gonna add up here and i'm trying to uh, get two shields away from opponent so that i can throw a move from my stun fist to KO this swamp Earth. because i know that in two shield scenarios 
maybe Stan, uh, Stompart can win if Stompart throws an EQ. I'm shielding this move and I, I'll try to get to my fall play as it was a CMP tie. And if Stompart dis, uh, decides to no shield it, Stompart will get KO'd. So opponent decided to use its final his final shield and. I, I was able to uh, CMP die with this foul play. If this is not an EQ, then I can survive a Hydro Cannon from a regular Swampert. Shadow Swampert, uh, Shadow Swampert's uh, Hydro Cannon chaos save life, but this is not Shadow. So I was able to survive this, that Hydro Cannon and, and so I was able to throw a foul play on Swampert, carrying it, and then it was a straight game win for me. So. Next battle where we have Stunfisk against Cresselia. So this is a neutral matchup. Uh, both Pokemons can win uh, this matchup. So let's see how this plays out. Uh, I'm normally I throw Earthquake and op opponent made a really good catch on his uh, Diggers V. Opponent was really calling my weight. Uh, uh, was really calling my switch, uh, moves. So they were able to catch a lot of moves. Here I throw uh ice punch before before because we can get to uh earthquake i didn't want it i didn't want it uh, my medicham to get hit with uh with a with a earthquake so with an earthquake so i decided to throw early otherwise i would have i tried to get more farm out of that match matchup but it doesn't matter as i will be able to uh, get to multiple ice punches and Cresselia has to throw its energy which is good for me but it will have some energy uh, it's not uh, it's not that problematic though because Sunfist can get uh, absorb that energy so here comes the glass node and opponent undercharged it so uh, so to get more farm out of that matchup and now I'm coming in with by uh, Stunfisk and I'm realizing that uh, some mud shot uh, that mud shot damage plus rock slide can KO this Cresselia. So I'm throwing this rock slide after gaining some extra energy on my stun face uh, for opponent's final Pokemon. And Cresselia survives with some HP. So I, I'll no shield this move and switch uh, right away to my save light to snipe that Cresselia down. And opponent's final Pokemon is Frostless. And this is a GG's as uh, Powder Snows are, were doing neutral damage and Shadow Claw, my Shadow Claws were doing super effective damage. I would have farmed down that box less to get the win, so opponent decided to uh, surrender. Next battle where we have had a really good lead with uh, Stunfisk and opponent decided to switch into Clevenant. I was too Shadow Claw uh, energy behind when I switched into uh, my Save Life, so uh, that's why Clevenant was able to get to its Shadow Ball before my Save Life can get to its Fall Play. So here yeah, I'm behind on energy in simple terms but i was able to win switch which is really good for me as now i can throw these foul plays uh, to get all uh, to put this karmari into red health because as you can see foul play does a lot of damage and this second foul play will definitely put this as karmari in the red health where my stun fist can farm it down this is the last battle of the video as well so here comes the sky attack i'm I'll come in with my uh, stun fist, and this is a, a popularly known Swampert Calm Core. I switched into my Medicham, and now I just need to uh, throw these ice punches to get some chip damage or KO or uh, get two shields away from uh, Swampert. So Swampert throws energy. I I will decide to I decided to no shield it, and so since Swampert has a shield left, so. I have to shield here. If Swampert uh, has had no shield left, uh, then I would have no shielded that move as well and try to KO that with my uh, try to KO this Swampert with my stun fist, but I was forced to shield there and Swampert decides to throw uh, another move and Swampert also ha have uh, Swampert have two uh, Hydro Cannons loaded, but Swampert's opponent thought that my stun fist doesn't have a lot of energy uh, stored, so it tried to farm down my stun fist, but thankfully I was able to get to that dog slide and uh, KO that uh, Swampert. So almost 
uh, a, a really close battle but i was able to get the win so ggs to the uh, to all my opponents and i was able to get uh, 600 points which, which is really uh, good for me and uh, this is the footage of me reaching legend be sure to follow pranav smash king and yes other lead on their twitch on twitch and yes other lead on yes other lead on youtube as well and thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you in the next video